Hey guys, this is our last day in Istanbul. We'll be moving on from here tomorrow. So thought we'd make this quick video just to explain a couple things and yeah. Yeah, so we really didn't want to make this video. We were going to make it at the one of our first nights in Istanbul. We've been here for a couple of weeks all together now, but we really just wanted to focus on the positives of travel and everything that Istanbul's got to offer. But over the last couple of weeks we've spent in Istanbul, I've just, the scammers have just been poking us, have been poking the bear. And today I finally got a little bit of footage of a couple of the scammers that there are. There's a lot of different scams in Istanbul that tourists fall for all the time, which is why they're still going. So we're gonna walk through a few of the scams today, show you a bit of the footage we got, and hopefully this improves your experience when you come to Istanbul, because I can imagine falling um, for a scam and losing a bit of money would completely put you off Istanbul, which is pretty understandable. So we will walk through them now. All right, so the good old shoe shine scam. This is the straw that broke the camel's back this morning. Why this video is being made and got a bit of footage, which I'll play over the top in a second. Um, now, as you can see, got some nice, fairly uh, dirty black uh, boots on at the moment. Um, not that that matters anyway. Guess it was an easy target. Guess we look like uh, a couple of tourists. I stand out in the uh, denim jacket there. The shoe shine scam. Pretty much shoe shiners all over Istanbul. You'll see them, they walk around with a little, kind of like a little stool. It's got attached their cleaning products and their brushes, etc. When you're walking around Istanbul, if they see tourists walking around them or behind them or whatever, they'll get maybe a few meters in front of the tourist. So maybe just where that sign is, we're walking towards them and they will drop their shoe shining brush and they'll keep walking and they will wait for you to go, hey, hey, you drop your brush or pick it up and run after them. And then they'll get the big emotional scene going, oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Oh, I'm trying to support my family. I have no money. And they'll, they'll, they'll try and um, shine your shoe as a um, sort of good karma. But then they'll start demanding money and they'll trick you with their hard luck story. So a lot of people get sucked in. Today, I couldn't believe I got footage on my mobile phone of it. We didn't have the GoPro. So pretty much what happened was we were walking, shoe shiner saw us, dropped his brush in front of us. I just uh, pulled out my phone and just started filming. Literally watched him walk a couple of meters. Then he turned around, came and got his brush, sort of apologized. And no joke, a couple minutes later, I was so shocked I got footage of it just because it's locked down in Turkey at the moment. There's not many people around. We turned the corner and we got done again. But this time I saw the shoe shiner come across the road and he walked a couple of meters in front of us dropped his brush and once again i just pulled out my phone stood there and filmed it all so that is one of the main scams in istanbul i haven't actually heard of it being done anywhere else so maybe that's just native to istanbul but yeah that is one scam you need to watch out for One of the most common scams in Istanbul is the guy will have a bag full of perfume and cologne. They'll come up to you and they'll even walk behind you and follow you and they'll be saying like, how much do you want to pay? As soon as they try and give it to you, um, as soon as you hold on to it, they won't take it back. So you do not grab the perfume off him because then it's pretty much you have to buy it. I had this guy come up to me while I was waiting for food. Um, he knew I was waiting for food, so I obviously couldn't go anywhere. And he was trying to give me perfume and I was like, no, thank you. And then he got his phone out and was showing me all these pictures of handbags and jeans and shoes and was like, tell me what you need and I've got it. And I was like, no, I do not need anything. Thank you. They do not give up. They like, until I got my food and I left, he was pretty much beside me the whole time and could not get away from him. Um, they do it everywhere, every corner you'll see them. They just, they do not give up. They pester you until you buy the perfume, but you just have to not grab onto it, not interact with them really and 
try and get away from them and ignore them because it's not fun but yeah it's just something you have to deal with All right, so one of the other scams we could have fallen for, this is probably the closest we came to falling for one, was we're in McDonald's near the Blue Mosque, which is one of the main attractions of Istanbul. And we had a pretty, yeah, we'll, we'll say he was a nice uh, guy. He's probably in his early 20s. Um, I think he noticed we could speak some English. He came up and started speaking English to us. He's pretty nice. He's trying to suss out what we were doing, which was all cool, which is fine. That's nice. It's good interacting with locals until he wouldn't leave us alone and i was trying to suss out whether he was trying to be like a tour guide for us and we were gonna have to pay him a large amount of money or any amount of money and then he told us about his store or his dad's store and he pretty much would not leave us alone until we went along now we did go along but we would have ditched him if we had gone down any alleyways or side streets it was all on the main road so it was it was fairly above board but then we went into his store and the next thing he was he tried to sit us down and have tea meanwhile him and his dad are pulling out all these carpets you know they're, they're pretty nice but i continued to say to him which is what i was saying to mcdonald's was Mate, we are traveling the world, we're backpacking. I cannot just start taking, you know, kilos or pounds of carpet <laughs> across Europe with me or across the world with me. And he really sort of wouldn't let us go. But I think the way I got out of it without buying anything was I said, look, give me a business card and I will send it around to all my friends and family in Australia and they'll order some from you online. Just a lot of people that they, they come off really nice and they really just want some money out of you, which is a shame. Not all the locals are like that. We've had the taxi drivers. Uh, you, you would think in a city where there's so many scams, the taxi drivers would get you. Maybe they do, but for us, we've probably had four taxis here in Istanbul. They've all been pretty good. They're all very proud of um, their city, of their country. Always, even though most of them speak broken English or no English, they will try to give you a little guide on the way to your destination about all the buildings and sites there are, which is pretty nice. And there are just animals everywhere here. One of the ways you can spot if someone's trying to sell you something is they will start a conversation with you and say, where are you from? What's your name? And they will try and get you to talk to them. And as soon as you start talking to them, they will try and sell you stuff like go through their story or come to my shop. I've got heaps of stuff for sale here. I've got everything you want. They will just keep bugging you and keep talking to you because they'll know some background for you. and. Yeah, we're not saying anything bad about Turkey or Istanbul. We absolutely loved our time here. We were here for five weeks. We loved every second of it. Everyone's pretty much nice and yeah. Yeah, so just watch the touristy areas around Taksim Square, definitely. The Grand Bazaar, the Blue Mosque. That's their bread and butter around tourist areas. However, the locals are pretty friendly. Just uh, common sense is pretty much all you need to avoid these scams. Um, if you do come to Istanbul, there's great value for money, there's great food. Most of the people are friendly, especially away from the touristy areas. The further out you go, the nicer the people are. They're, they're genuinely willing to help you if you're ever lost. We've looked lost a few times and we've had people help us. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in our next video.